Hello everyone, once again it is Geo Audience. And we're back with another review. Rev review. <laughs> no way didn't. Back with another review, this time it is Poltergeist, a classic. Written by Steven Spielberg, directed by Toby Hooper. Who doesn't love this film? I mean, really. Once again, probably the best movie about ghosts I've ever seen, easily. Um, again, what you uh, don't see is a lot scarier than what you do see. And what you don't see for the majority of the film is the ghost. Or ghosts. What you do see is how they interact with the environment and basically cause this normal, suburban, picturesque family that has everything, you know, and basically takes that family and turns it upside down. Uh, I love it. I love Craig T. Nelson uh, as the dad, go basically going from you know happy-go-lucky to uh, you know what the fuck is going on. And Joe Beth Williams is uh, perfect as the mother in there also. And who doesn't love uh, poor Heather O'Rourke? You know, tragically passed away uh, a number of years after and uh, yeah if you can get it watch it it's perfect on blu-ray there's a nice blu-ray book that I have on the shelf over here uh, it's, it's pretty cheap uh, it looks good the sequels have just come out on uh, blu-ray also I recommend part two I do not recommend part three uh, I watched it maybe once or twice, and it just didn't do anything for me. But part two is pretty fun, especially uh, the guy who plays Henry Kane in part two is just one of the creepiest guys in the universe, especially when he smiles. He's got that, that, that skeleton grin thing going on. <laughs> I'm rambling. Anyway, go watch it. Beautifully directed, beautifully written, of course, by Steven Spielberg in his prime in the 80s. Uh, the tension is such that uh, it's wonderful, especially when uh, the, invest the ghost investigators come to the house and they're, they're all camping out and they're going to see what happens during the night. And then, you know, slowly but surely, the ghost goes after, uh, you know, people who straggle off and then the people who are weakest and then. You can see the strategy of the ghosts kind of going around the room deciding, you know, who's the alpha male, quote unquote, and, and who should be, you know, who should we go after first, you know, who's easy pickings, basically, and, and I love that kind of stuff, so, uh, not a lot heavy on the gore, uh, in f it, well, unless you count skeletons, I really don't, as gore, yeah. Good effects for uh, the early 1980s, 1982, I believe. Really good special effects uh, that, to this day, still don't match up. Uh, the CGI of today just doesn't do it. Optical effects, practical effects, it's where it's at, baby. It's where it's at. Until you can, uh, until you can duplicate that perfectly, it's just not going to work, folks. It's just not going to work. Anyway, that does it for me. I'll see you all tomorrow. Y'all take care. Peace.